side. Well, we know what we gotta do now. Excuse me, sir. Are you offering any uh, potions, invisibility potions, actually? Really, you're not? Because uh, you're invisible right now. Let's see what you got. Hmm. Useless junk. Why are you invisible? You shouldn't be invisible. <laughs> to ah, ah, you, you hit me, donkey. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <sighs> get him! Get over here! <laughs> Now it's just you and me, Invisible Wandering Trader. You offering any potions, buddy? Ah. I didn't think so. I killed him. That's how we kill air guys in Minecraft. Fan zone, fan zone, three spots open left. Come get it while it lasts. Hashtag fan zone in the comment zone. What is new in the world? Well, first off, I had built the first uh entrance that you see with the torches all over it actually in the very beginning of my first remodel of i don't know of nothing basically and then over there behind that i built another stairway because i had so much stone and another thing i built was this useless bridge was absolutely useless and then i built this useless mushroom house for some reason and then I built these useless stone walls on the trees because they're useless. I can't make a promise that I'm gonna keep on making these Minecraft videos because let me sit down and tell you a great story about winter and what it does. Basically, it goes something like this. When I get home from school in the afternoon, which is at 2.47, the sun's already down. And by the time I get my homework done, it's still. The sun's down. But what are you going to think? The sun's going to set and then rise again? Well, yeah, it's going to do it on the other side. In the morning, when I have to get up and go to school. <sighs> useless just useless i just cooked this pig's entire family in front of its face <laughs> what do we got in here two cooked chicken from like a year ago i will sure take that and i'll put this leather in here for some reason i don't know guys I, i'm running out of ideas i'm starting to be a really stupid man there was a usual rare scene that had occurred. There were some raiders that spawned outside of my house while I was camping in the fan zone for some reason. This is quite a nightmare and I'm gonna have to see what's gonna happen now. Usually odd situation. I knew that these raiders were camping somewhere, I just couldn't find them. And so, there they all are. Ooh, dodged two arrows at once, okay. Ow, and one hit me. Ah, come on. Don't kill Jeb, please. Don't kill Water Sheep. Alright. Camp. Let them let the arrows hit themselves. Okay, I have the bad omen effect. Okay, I killed that guy. There's still one more left. Okay. Ow. Somehow shot me from ahead. You know, I should have hid inside my house to make this more of an epic battle, but okay, I guess I'll just camp here then. All sad and alone. Hmm. Uh, I'm so mad about that. Look at all these arrows in my front yard. The landlord's gonna hate me for this. Look! There's an arrow in my door! I spent days working on that door, and you're just gonna shoot some arrows through it? Have some respect. <sighs> Stupid. I was feeling pretty nauseous as the sun was going down. I felt like I was going to throw up any minute now. And I wonder what will happen to the nearest village the next time I try to go visit it. I reckon this might be the last chance to explain that.
I'm ready to set out, but not this episode. I swear on Archer's grave I will protect the nearest village from any raids that occur, but if I have to fight an outpost to protect it, I'm gonna have to do what I'm gonna have to do.